Hey guys, uh, today we are going to use Tinkercad, but we're going to do something a little bit different with it. We are going to explore the Sim Lab. Uh, so after you watch this video, you are going to go to Tinkercad like you normally do, but when you go into create 3D design, so still the same, okay, we are going to rename this as, let's do our initials, um, your hour. So I'm going to put 10. I don't have a 10th hour for design modeling. You put your class period, and then you're going to call this Sim Lab Domino Run. It's a long one. You can pause the video and spell it out. Uh, but we're going to name that just to remember what it is. And then you have your same work plane just like this. And I'm just going to start designing something first, and then I'll show you the Sim Lab side second. So I want to make some dominoes and you can make them as big or as small as you want to because you can always zoom in. I'm going to make about that height. So one and a half by it looks like five eighths or so. It doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to copy and paste and move it, copy, paste, move it, copy, paste, move it. OK, so you're looking for that kind of domino look um, and the domino one falls over and they hit the rest. And then I think I'll start with a ramp. I'm going to use my curvy arrow to get that one started. And then I'm just going to rotate it, maybe make this ramp a little taller, maybe a little bit wider. And then we need some sort of ball. OK, and I don't want my ball quite that big. I'm going to shrink it down, pull it up higher, change my view, maybe use my arrow keys to slide the ball over this way, slide it this way, because in my mind, I'm envisioning that the ball will fall, hit the ramp, roll down, and then run into my domino. So that's kind of my starter thing for this. So I have my initial setup in place, and then you're actually going to go and you're going to click on this falling apple up here. This is Sim Lab. So I'm going to click on the falling apple. Now we designed everything the same, but it's going to look a little bit different in here. Uh, so I'm picturing the ball falling down, rolling, and then hitting into here. When I go ahead and they have changes, so pause for a second. Let me see if I, oh, it's the play button right here. Sorry, I'm almost hiding it with my picture. So that hand. Okay, so the play button down here. Okay, so once I click play, what you're going to find is everything kind of starts moving. Oh, but it didn't work very well. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple other changes to make. So I pause it. I can reset kind of over in this other corner. I'm going to go ahead and click on my ramp. This is something I don't want gravity to apply to um, because it just wants to stay there. So over here, and I'm going to put myself right next to it on the screen here. So right there is this little ball that rolls down the hill. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it should say something called make static. If it says make dynamic, that means it's going to move. If you make it static, it stays. So I applied that to this ramp here. I can also change the material. Let's say I want my ball to be a heavier material. I can click on the material right here and maybe I want that to be a steel ball when that falls. Uh, then I can test it out again, go and see, okay, so it's working all right. Um, we Maybe we could change our view to kind of see, like, is it not in line? Ooh, I can see here that maybe my dominoes aren't in line with it. So when I click play, it's kind of missing some of those. But that was a good little domino run. So if I want to make changes to, add to what I built, I'm just going to go back to this little nine, I call it the waffle button, that 3D design. And it takes me back here. And then I know that I need to select these and maybe move them over a little bit so my ball runs into them. Um, but you can add as much to this as you want to. Now, when things, I'm going to demonstrate to this one. If I had started it so it looked like this, I'll move it so it still rolls into that. Um, what you'll notice, some of them are off of my work plane and some of them are on. So if I go into the Sim Lab again, watch what happens to those dominoes as soon as I press play. Ooh. Did you see how those two fell? So that's the important side of when you're designing, you want to make sure that everything fits on to your work plane. And that might be why for some of you, maybe you want to make your dominoes smaller and then you could make this part smaller because then you could fit more onto this. I could make both of these smaller items as well. And then as I run that domino run, I can add more to it. So let's see. So it's really small. Let's see what that looks like in the Sim Lab. It's a lot of back and forth. 
still plays, still kind of knocks into those, but maybe I need to make my ramp a little bit bigger now. So have fun with it. You're trying to make a really cool domino run effect. I'm also going to add some more links in Google Classroom for some fun ideas for how to make stairways and ramps and all sorts of fun things in your domino, domino run. If you're willing to watch some YouTube videos, you can find some really cool things. Have fun with it and let's see what you can make.